You know, we often find that in the crypto space, when people like you, they want to work with you, whether they'll hire you, you know, or maybe they, maybe they refer you to someone else who's hiring for a similar position. But I think this comes back down to like your presence online, like just don't be a dick. But, you know, at the same time, like, you know, kind of tastefully being a dick can like him is a good hand to play. And I'll just use my personal content as an example. I have friends in traditional finance and other traditional industries look at my Twitter and sometimes I'll see content I post and they're like, how the hell do you have a job? Like, you know, there's like this weird balance in crypto where pushing the envelope, crossing lines tastefully here and there is like, you know, entertaining and fun and builds some level of credibility. So it's a fine line. And I think, uh, I think we all try and walk it, sometimes go over it a little bit. You can shit post and you can have fun and you can make jokes. I think there's like a certain line of respect where people like, you go over and you start maybe like personally attacking individuals. And I think that's probably a line. There are a ton of people that I really, really disagree with on Twitter, but like you don't want to just like personally attack them. Just in the real world where social media scams come out or scandals, sorry, let's say when, you know, let's say someone's caught from what they said five years ago and it's now not kind of acceptable in, in, in the current climate. Very much the same in the crypto space. I mean, we have the best detectives in the world in this industry. And, you know, if they go through your Twitter account, they will find something. And I think final point point on this, you know, talking to the people already employed in this space, you know, I, I won't mention any names, but there was an individual not too long ago who had his crypto punk displayed. He's working at a well-known um, company, very kind of well-known in the particular current NFT space. And I think unfortunately his personal investments in the crypto space very much transpired into his, um, his, his, his professional life. And I think that's one other thing I would really kind of say to people, like once you're working in this space, try and disclose as little as possible of as you can about your personal investments because somewhere along the line it may come back to bite you in the ass or or don't insider trade on open <laughs> right i think that's the yeah, kind of <laughs> <laughs> that that was, that was too strong of a subtweet there manny <laughs> <laughs> but, 